Hey y'all, welcome back to From the Truth. Welcome to this evening's video. I hope everyone's had a wonderful day today. In this video, we're going to be talking about something that we have talked about many times on this channel. And that is a lot of stuff to do with the Great Depression and what it was like. And is it possibly coming back? And how will it be? So, we have talked about soup lines, bread lines, you know, all that kind of stuff that happened during the Great Depression. And we talked about how it might possibly be coming back to America and to other countries with what is going on, but maybe in a little bit different way than it was back then. So in this video, I'm going to read you a news article, and this is Austrian groceries to hand out food rations during blackout. So this is something they have already put into the works in case of blackouts and people needing food during it. And this is happening all across their country that they have prepared for it. It is something that they joined up with all the grocery stores and have planned ahead to be ready in case of mass blackout. So if you're new to this channel, please click that subscribe button down below. Be sure to tap the notification bell beside it so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And as always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share so more people can see what is going on. So it says Austrian Grocers. To hand out food rations during the blackouts, the emergency plan aims to provide critical supplies for citizens in the amount of mass power cuts. So they are already planning for blackouts, even though later down below they say that it's not that much of a possibility and it's low that it could happen. They still want to be prepared. So they unveiled emergency measures on Tuesday to secure food and other essentials for people in the event of blackouts this winter. The plan was published on the country's Ministry of Agriculture, Regions, and Tourism website. It decrees that all grocery stores are to remain closed on the first day of a potential blackout. On the second day, stores are to remain closed, but active centers from which bags of fresh produce will be given to residents between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So they have clearly laid this out in a very strategical way on how they want things done. Additionally, the stores will offer prepared bags with water, long life bread, canned goods, convenience products, candles, all to be sold for cash. Baby items and hygiene products will be made available on request. From day three, only products from the dry range will be offered for the safety reasons. Now, they have all agreed to do this. All of the major chains throughout their area. Residents are advised, though, to stock up with food with a long shelf life and keep a 14-day supply at home, as well as to keep small denominations of cash in or around the amount of 100 euros per family member. So they're telling you to keep a little bit of cash around so that you can purchase this because we all know in a blackout there would be no electronic systems running so you would definitely have to pay cash for this. It was prepared in co coordination with the Austrian Chamber of Commerce, National Bank of Austria, and the Energy Ministry as well as representatives from the food retail industry. And all of this stuff is the ones that put together all of this. They say it's low, probably not going to happen. You know, very low and unlikely is exactly what they said. But new potential challenges require timely preparation in order to be ready for a crisis. So they want to be ready ahead of time. It's just strange with all the stuff that's going on and all we've been talking about on blackouts around our country, around other countries that all of a sudden they put this out and it's more or less an alternative to feed people in a blackout situation. So instead of a Great Depression situation or maybe a recession, it's kind of just like we're cutting your power off for a while. So to feed you, we're going to supply you a little bit of food because the grocery stores aren't going to be open like normal. And, you know, ATMs aren't going to be working. Debit cards don't work, you know, things like that. So you can come in here and give your cash and still purchase a little bit of stuff in our own coordinated way to keep chaos down is really one way that they are doing it. So I wanted to pass this on so that anybody that hadn't heard of this could and just see that there's plans in the making more or less to help supply you with food and water, but it's kind of how they want to do it. Similar to some of the stuff that happened during the Great Depression, they figured out a way to provide for people even though it wasn't that great of a job that they was doing for those that were not prepared. So before these blackouts supposedly get here or happen, they have plans in place to help you out some in case you need to. That way you just won't go honestly looting the stores and just taking everything out of it. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Stay safe. God bless you and keep prepping.